Hi, in this two minute takeaway, I want to take a, a moment to talk about the debt, look at what it is and what types of debt that we have out there. I'm Hilary O'Dwyer, founder of Titian Consulting, your virtual CFO. So debt is something that we normally introduce into the business to power our business or to create working capital. So we want to bring in more cash to do what we're doing. So the most usual form of debt that most of us have, both professionally and personally, is credit card debt. And it's also, unfortunately, the most expensive. So sometimes credit card debt creeps into our lives by stealth because we're simply just piling expenses on there to keep the business moving forward. Now, a 20% a year interest charge, this is just exorbitantly expensive. So your best bet with your credit card debt is to domino it and replace it with something else if you have to, or just simply get rid of that altogether and start trying to live start trying to operate within your means as it were. Another kind of loan that we can get from funders out there is obviously a bank loan. Now these tend to be much harder to get, although they're at a much cheaper interest rate. So you have to go to the bank, jump through all the hoops, fill out all the reasons as to why you want it, and you also have to be able to prove generally that you already have the cash so you don't really need it. So you need to have your ATO portals to be clear and have really good reasons as to why you can get it. Now these can be over three to five years, at much lower interest rates. So they can be a good option if you can get them. The ATO tend to offer funding inadvertently as people get to put their debts on a payment plan. So this could be for BAS returns or for income tax returns. So their interest rate is charged, but it often gets reversed as payments are made on time. However, watch out for falling into arrears with these plans because it means everything, including current debt, becomes due all at once if you, if you stuff that up. Another great way of getting debt on, onto the balance sheet to fund the business is through finance leases. Now, these are usually used to purchase equipment or to buy vehicles. So the great thing about these is that you're also you're trying to you're acquiring the asset as well as bringing in the debt to fund that asset. You're, you end up with a monthly repayment that has a component of interest in it, and at the end of the time, you usually have an asset to go with it if you don't have an enormous balloon payment. So. When should you take on debt? You might not have a choice. You might just have to simply take it because you need to power forward. When is it too much debt? Well, what you want to make sure is that your long-term debt isn't bigger than your total assets. Different industries have different ratios for this. You want to obviously you want to try and keep it under 50% would be kind of a rule of thumb there. And this is definitely a metric that is looked at by institutions when they're assessing your business. So that's just a few little thoughts there about debt. I hope you find that useful. I think next time we will ha might have a look at equity. See you next time.